Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here on our journey to self-discovery and in this video today I want to talk about what exactly is self-contemplation. I talk about it a lot. I base my whole work upon um, using the term self-contemplation and teaching like about and what to do with self-contemplation but I thought I would make a video about what exactly it is, what does it mean, how to do it, if it is something to do, and um, explore that a little bit deeper. So when I say self-contemplation, I mean literally contemplating yourself, contemplating who you are and I don't use the term thinking because thinking is using the ego it isn't something that is natural in that sense to us contemplating is going deeper it's asking questions about our existence about who we are and what are we doing here some would maybe say it's very deep yeah it is very deep it's it's going on a journey to remember really who you are it's a journey of uncovering the inner peace and freedom that we forget over time and over society and everything that's kind of conditioned and instilled in us and it's basically bringing us back to our innate truth our nature and a place of peace neutrality and no judgment so when I say let's self-contemplate, I literally don't mean any sort of practice. It is not a practice. It is just remembering. It is bringing yourself back. It is asking questions. It is exploring where they take you, how they make you feel, how your body reacts. Of course, all that is so important. And most, most importantly, observing yourself and your life. In your experiences that is a really key part of self-contemplation is the observance because that's the place that we know we can feel within us and find peace and neutrality in and we can observe our experiences with no story emotions or feelings and feel neutral and not be overwhelmed with fears anxieties and stress on all those things we we can still experience and feel but we watch from a neutral, beautiful, magical place. When I self-contemplate, I don't specifically need to do any ritual or experiment. I will just sit down and see where my questioning of myself and life takes me and dive deeper and deeper with that intuition and that instinct that is right within us. You don't need to set yourself up with, you know, candles and incense and all that. You can, absolutely, that's not a problem. If that feels good to you, do that. Um, but there is no need, there is no right or wrong here. It's where it takes you. If I was to, for example, contemplate on the um, one of my cards that says, life lives me, what would I do? I would take that with me, I would read it in my head or out loud and see what arises. I would observe myself in the sense that if the ego comes up and tries to distract me or kind of unravel things in a very thought ego based way, I would observe that, I would see where that takes me, but I would also question what does that mean? Life lives me, well, what does it really mean? Stop reading the words, start feeling that saying and what it's portraying. So it's a lot of deep, deep deep connections to us and who we are and why we're here and what are we and who are we it's not just thinking it's not just meditation because life is one big meditation it's contemplation on yourself on your existence and who you are and yeah that can be a little bit deep but oh my it's so amazing and beautiful and magical so I hope that sort of unravels what I mean when I say self-contemplation um, and how I kind of look into that myself and how you can do 
how you can self contemplate with cards, uh, with just yourself, or with anything that kind of arises during your day, you can absolutely apply self contemplation to. Um, again, thank you for watching. And if you like, then make sure to subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you again, guys, soon.